what's going up YouTube ASB here and uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how the dealing Wi-Fi routers user interface looks like and uh, what the features or settings it provides and uh, the uh, router that I've been using is uh, dealing the AR600 L it's N150 router and uh, you will find uh, this uh, interface almost uh, same in uh, pretty much all dealing routers excepting uh, few features that some routers can provide or some cannot provide okay so now I'm gonna show you the interface okay here is username and password so the moment you hit the login or press enter you are led to this uh, current network settings page on which it shows your internet settings wireless settings device info and my dlink account this is not a detailed information it's a brief information uh, according to your settings okay and uh, you'll have to note that uh, this uh, my dealing account uh, section will not be shown in every router on this current network settings page because this is an additional feature for few routers and uh, some routers are not uh, uh, are not uh, equipped with these uh, features by dealing so if your router does not have this my dealing account feature you it uh, may not show here okay you will have this uh, these uh, three settings that are internet settings wireless settings and device info from here uh, we will hit manual setup and this is the uh, real interface that looks like okay we are in this uh, setup mode uh, here is a easy setup option available so if you are messed up with your router and you want to reset up it again you can use this easy setup mode or you can go through this uh, uh, go to go through a manual process by clicking this internet connection and hit uh, manual internet connection setup okay and you will find your type settings and host name okay this uh, this particular information will change according to your type okay so if I select this pbtp I'll have this kind of settings but that's not my type okay so don't save this settings I'll click now going through wireless connection again it also has same uh, two parts as uh, there were in this internet connection in uh, if you hit this manual, manual wireless connection setup you will get nice settings if you want to enable or disable your wireless network you can do from this checkbox okay or if you want to add a wireless device with uh, Wi-Fi protected setup that's WPS you can do it from here too In, under wireless network settings it shows uh, your wireless mode there are five available with my Wi-Fi router okay this mode uh, there can be uh, uh, difference in other model if it uh, provides a repeater mode okay it will be shown here okay so don't worry about that they can be different enable or disable wireless your wireless uh, network name automatic channel selection or this uh, you can select a manual one and uh, you can also enable hidden wireless from here your w uh, pa2 or wpa wireless security modes or you can disable it now going on top back here we have lan setup okay in this lan setup settings you can change your routers ip address and uh, subnet mask and from here you can choose to enable or disable DHCP server and even its uh, IP addressing range.
and also its lease time time and date nothing special over here parent control rules I don't uh, really know about these things so if you don't know them just leave it or if you know about these things you can uh, do something with this pattern control rules now in, if you hit this advanced option you uh, you are gonna change your router into a playground that you can play with your routers settings okay it, it uh, offers uh, advanced port forwarding rules application rules mac filtering acl filter these four i don't know about these uh, four settings but they are available for you if you know about them and uh, if you really know how to use them and what it stands for or what it will do for you okay i'll suggest you if you really know about them then you change something over here otherwise just don't even open them now going through this uh, traffic control setting you can enable or disable traffic control and uh, you can also uh, select automatic distribute bandwidth and even uh, the speeds or you can enter these uh, numbers of your speed that you want to be distributed now uh, this is a firewall section and it's basically your network firewall or something like that now we have advanced uh, wireless settings in this advanced wireless settings you have different kinds of things over here your transmit power always say uh, i always uh, set it 200 percent preamble type short preamble or long preamble and uh, your wireless modes too i set it to 802 11 and only but if you have older devices that are only compatible with uh, b or g mode you can select it too advanced network setting uh, okay you can enable upnp source and uh, other things so pretty much good user interface okay in this uh, save and restore option you can save settings or restore your device reboot your router okay firmware update uh, section you can check uh, for the latest firmware available here and uh, you can also enable the dns servers for person who wants game servers and ftv servers you can do that from here okay a good uh, uh, feature over here is schedule you can create a schedule for your router to boot up and to shut down you can select all days or you can select particular days that you want and the start time in the particular time zone that you want to your router to be on or off or you can select all day 24 hours it will be running and uh, there's no nothing actually harmful or dangerous or worrying to select this option because uh, this router that i'm using is dir 600 l and the good thing is that it doesn't really get heat up i have tested it uh, for around four or five days continuously it was running and i was downloading a uh, few games uh, and the total in four days i downloaded was around uh, 40 to 50 gigs and they were uh, downloaded in four days my router was continuously 24 hours all day on for four days so total of 96 hours it was turned on and uh, even i didn't uh, uh, face any issues regarding routers uh, performance okay so you can check this option if your router does not get heat up a lot and you have your my link event management and log settings and you also have status over here for 
your internet your lan and uh, the wireless 802.11n okay and also wireless status are available that uh, will show the list of uh, the clients wireless clients that are connected to your wi-fi network it will also show the uh, ip addresses mode and rate and signal strength so that's uh, pretty much it oh yeah uh, one important thing is this help if you get stuck with your router settings or anywhere else you can always opt for this help it's really detailed and uh, you will it will be really helpful for you so that's pretty much it about this uh, Wi-Fi routers dealing Wi-Fi routers user interface okay and uh, if you found this video helpful i'll appreciate you to click on the like button given below and also subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye